Here we go, Legion Nation. Another day, another opportunity. We're in the beautiful city of Los Angeles. Day two. Actually, we're in Anaheim because we're gonna stop at VidCon first, and I'm here with all these peeps right now, and uh, we're about to go grab some breakfast. So let's make today a very legit day. So we just got here to the Anaheim Convention Center. Oh, that's not good for my camera. And I saw this spot and I was like, this is B-roll heaven, fam. Like, check out all these palm trees, though. It's freaking amazing. Yo, this is so wild. It's crazy to think that like we're finally here. Like we're finally here after all those years of waiting and stuff. Like there's a YouTube play button right there to take a picture with. There's palm trees everywhere. There's kids everywhere, man. There's this a is, ball pit. There's a ball pit, man. This is just, this is great. You know what I mean? This is just, this is the life right here. This is the life. I think that the only thing bad about this week that we're gonna have to deal with at VidCon is a bunch of screaming girls like everywhere. Cause literally they see one creator, they go screaming, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's crazy. There's so many like, girls here but there's so many creators too all right and we just got our creator badge right here creator legit looks for life this is the big time boys this is the big time. Here we go. Hey, check out this guy's kicks. Hey, you're, you're, your community, you have a channel? I'm actually, I'm, I have a channel. Okay, what's your channel? It's uh, Some Black Guy. Okay, all it's right. Some Black Guy. I, would, I never would have guessed. All right. Yeah. So, let's, what kind of kicks you got on today? Well, see, we got these, uh, <laughs> what is this, Maltese? <laughs> we got okay. these Malteses. <laughs> and we got some of these Snickers kicks. Okay, I like that. That custom. Yeah, you know, because nobody was like, Dude, uh, I, don't, I, I, I can't be a clone, man. I was okay. like, nobody <laughs> else is going to be doing it. Exactly. Like so, now they're going to see you and they're going to say, oh, I want to meet that guy. What's your name? <laughs> some Black Guy. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Up, like, Guys, I am <laughs> so freaking happy, yo. We are at Santa Monica Beach, man. It's like the dreams are coming through. The dreams are coming true piece by piece, man. We are like freaking, we're living the dream out here, man. It's it's sick. Yo, do y'all know where we can rent bikes? Anywhere? Yes. It's to your Oh, we're gonna go to the, okay, we're gonna go to the pier first. All right, this is honestly like where I run away from the cops whenever I play GTA <laughs> Like when there's nowhere to go and you just have to drive on the beach Sometimes I go on that pier right there, but I know my boy Albert lands his planes here, right? Oh, yeah Always oh, Yo, we have one star who has one star <laughs> Nah, I don't think they come if you have one star. I think you gotta have at least like three <laughs> Guys, check out these waves. You don't get this in Texas. You do not get this in Texas. We're in a Cali, baby. We're in Cali. You like it out here, baby? Yeah, it's really pretty. It's cold.
Really Guys, this pier is so amazing. Out of all of LA, this is definitely my favorite spot so far. I love the beach, man. I was born to be on the beach, and this is definitely my favorite pier and my favorite spot. So we're walking out here in Santa Monica, and I see a Nike check mark, and I think to myself, we gotta hit up the Nike outlet. We gotta see what it's about here at in LA at Santa Monica. I believe it's a Nike outlet. I don't, I don't know if it's a Nike store. I've never been to a Nike store before, but usually that indicates an outlet. So we'll check it out and see what's good in here. Yo, guys, this isn't a Nike outlet. This is an actual Nike store. I've never actually been inside an actual Nike store before, but let's check it out, dude. I'm pumped. Come train with us. I know, dude. This is the Nike store. That means, that means there's no. There's no steals and deals. There's no steals and deals. This is like ripping your top of pocket and take your deals, man. I know, bro. They got all the little setups in here. It's actually pretty dope. All right, tell us about this. All right, LeBron 14. New. Um, PG1, Paul George. You got Kyrie 3. KD9 Elite. Which one's your favorite out of all three? Probably the KD9s, I guess. Which ones? Oh, shoot. I almost dropped it. Oh, whatever, I'll leave it there. They got a couple of Air Jordans in here. They got 31s. What do you think of those? Pure Money 7s. They come in a size 15, man? Maybe, I don't know, bro. That's, that might be the biggest one they go up to, to be honest. <laughs> oh, I kind of want these, though, for real. I think these are clean, dude. It's like a Jordan 4 mixed with like a runner. Oh, definitely, bro, with that concrete. Oof. Some of the kicks they got, guys. Some of the Air Force Ones. Some Nike Cortezes. Let's see what else they have in here, guys. Some Prestos. Ooh, I like those Prestos up there. And we got some foams over here. Some Air Maxes. With the copper foams. Yo, guys, I didn't even see this, but they like actually have a wall dedicated to like Jordan shoes. And it's like right in front of us, and they have really, really cool Jordan shoes in here. They got the sixes, the elevens, the twelves, sevens, fourteens, eights. This is really cool, guys. I didn't see this. I think that's all they have though, as far as retros here, though. It's pretty cool, though. All right, Tim. This is everything you and your channel stands for. Steals and deals. Nike hoodie for twenty-five. Oh, my bad. That's two hundred and fifty dollars. Hell no, for that. <laughs> But bro, it's breathable, look. You see? This shirt's breathable. Bro, bro it's bucks. Nike technology, all right? Respect. Respect, you believe it's Respect Gucci, the culture. Hell no, dude. This is the Tech Fit Knit Jacket. It's a whack shirt. Oh my god. Yo, they had this really good sale at H&M. And like, these bomber jackets are usually like 60, but right today, they're like 25 each. All right, so right here, we have this white jacket right here. How does it look? It looks Too good, much. bro. It looks good, bro. It looks good, honestly. Yeah. Put the collar down, or? Yeah. Matches your skin tone. Yeah. If it's good or what? It's good. The wrinkles add so much character if you have the chain tone. <laughs> Guys, I love the feeling they have here in LA so much. Like, there's so many stores, there's so much friendly people here. Like, it's just so amazing, man. Like, I truly, truly am in love with LA, guys. Like, there's no other place like it, man. This is dope. And we're now back in the room, guys. Thank you so much for being with me on such a beautiful vlog, man. Out of all the vlogs I've ever made, man, today was definitely, like, the best, you know, when it comes to, like, beauty and stuff like that. Man, we went to the beach. We went to the pier. We did a little bit of shopping today. It was an overall great vlog. But you know, tomorrow is the first day of VidCon, so we are officially gonna hit up VidCon. Hopefully we can, you know, meet some bigger YouTubers, we can learn more, and you know, just keep this channel moving and keep it moving forward, man. Today, actually, when we were on Santa Monica Beach, I actually saw one of the YouTubers, Um, he goes by the name Wolves, and he does a lot of entrepreneur stuff, a bunch of lifestyle stuff, and it was really cool, you know, seeing another vlogger just vlogging in LA, because it's like, where I'm from, you don't see that, like, ever. It's just like, it really inspired me, and it really is gonna keep me grinding and it's gonna keep me going man and then there's this weird kid in back of me that I don't know what he's doing but it's the weirdo everyone yo guys so for today's word of the day it comes from Proverbs 12 11 it says whoever works his land will have plenty of bread but he who follows worthless pursuits lacks sense basically guys I think you know what it means by this verse is that you know when Adam 
took that bite from the fruit, you know, God said that from now on man would have to work, you know, f to feed his family and to feed himself. So, you know, God calls men to work and to provide for his family. And I think by this one, it's saying like, if you are, you know, just sitting around your house doing nothing all day, you know, playing games or doing, you know, just doing whatever, man, whenever you follow worthless pursuits that you lack sense. But whoever works his land will have plenty of bread, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't get out there and if you don't work and if you don't do stuff, you're never going to get anywhere. If you don't, you know, work and, uh, and, and work towards that goal and try to achieve those goals, you will never put bread on the table. You'll never be able to provide for yourself if you are only, you know, following those worthless pursuits if you're just following things that are going to get you nowhere so you got to keep a mindset that like you do want to move to the next level you do want to keep going you got to keep grinding you got to stay on your ground you got to stay on your hustle because you do want to provide and even though you know some of you guys might be young this advice can be for the future when you have your own family when you got your own place because you don't want to be living with your parents forever and you don't want to be stuck in that situation forever so Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you did like it, of course, Legit Nation, make sure you smack up that thumbs up button, guys. Hit that subscribe button to join the Legit Nation, and I'm super excited because tomorrow is day one. Well, today technically was day one, but tomorrow is the first day of VidCon. So stay tuned, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, Legit Nation. And until then, peace, homies. Stay blessed. We're out of here.